Hello, in this tutorial I'll show you how to use neural maps on 2D sprites in Unity 2019.2 or later using the lightweight render pipeline. So if you're using anything before 2019.2, this won't work. If you're not using the lightweight render pipeline, this won't work. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is just a blank, empty, um, lightweight render pipeline project, but I have changed a couple things. Uh, the first thing is I've imported two um, textures here. One is Tanker, which is going to be the base albedo map for our sprite, and Tanker Normal, which is the normal map for that. We'll be importing those in just a second. Um, and then also I've changed some things in the package manager. So I've imported 2D sprite, which will allow us to use the sprite editor. And I've also uh, changed the version on lightweight render pipeline. Um, so I've updated it to 6.7.1 instead of the default 6.5.2, which comes with Unity as of now. So um, those are the things I've changed, so let's uh, get into it. So first, let's change the import settings on Tanker and Tanker Normal to get them to be more of uh, what we want. So on Tanker, let's set the texture type to be Sprite, which makes sense and set the pixels per unit to be 16, which works with this um, art. Um, and let's set the filter mode to be point, the max size to be the longest dimension of the sprite, which is 64, the compression to be none, hit apply. Then next we're going to uh, go to tanker normal, and on tanker normal let's set the texture type to be normal map, the filter mode to be point, like before, max size to be 64 like before, and compression none. So now, now that we've got that done, uh, we're going to create a uh, pipeline asset. So we're going to go assets, rendering, lightweight render pipeline, pipeline asset, and we're going to call it uh, 2D pipeline. So what this is going to do is we're going to set it up so Unity is only going to render 2D stuff and this needs to be done for normal maps to work. So on 2D pipeline, uh, we're not going to change anything here yet, but first we need to go assets, create, rendering, um, 2D renderer, and call this 2D renderer, and not touch anything on the settings there. And in the 2D pipeline we need to switch the renderer type. So forward renderer is, a, is something that renders 3D. So we can verify this by going game object, create 3D, ob 3D objects um, cube. So you can see that now there is a cube in the scene, which is being nicely rendered. But we don't want that, we only want 2D. So if we go into our 2D pipeline and switch the renderer type to custom, and then switch the data to our 2D renderer asset, then now it won't be rendering um, 3D stuff. But it's not applied it in the scene yet because we haven't applied this uh, pipeline asset to our project yet. So the way we do that is we go assets, um, sorry, not assets, um, project settings. And here we set the scriptable render pipeline settings here to be, um, to be equal to 2D pipeline. And that should work. So now if we look in our scene, our cube is all glitched out, and if we delete that cube and put it back, let's see, yeah, so now our cube is invisible because it's not being rendered. So that's good. And also notice our skybox has disappeared. So next we need to actually do the fun stuff with getting the lighting working. So um, to begin with, let's delete the directional light. We won't need that because this is a 3D light, so it's completely useless for 2D sprites. So let's uh, get rid of that. Then our main camera, let's set the background type to um, solid color, so we don't really need a skybox. And set the background to be equal to some nice gray tone, some neutral color. That looks pretty good. So and let's set the scene view to 2D so it works better what we're doing here. So now we need to tell Unity that the tanker normal texture is associated with tanker because currently they have no association in Unity's eyes. So if we click on tanker and go to the sprite editor, um, 
now, if, if you're in 2019.2 or later, there will be a new option on the top left, which is called Secondary Textures. So if you click on Secondary Textures, we can add the normal map as a secondary texture to the Tanker Sprite. So if you see right, right here where it says List is Empty, you can press the plus, and then um, for name, set it to be equal to underscore normal map. Um, don't set it to anything else, otherwise it won't work. And then set the texture to be equal to um, our tanker normal texture. And close that. Then apply. And now it should be applied to our settings. So next, if we drag the tanker sprite into the scene, we will see it's black. Why is it black? It's black because there's no lighting in the scene, so that makes sense. So if we want to add lighting into the scene, one would, one would initially think go light and then point light, but this is these all of these um, lighting options are for 3D. We need to go into 2D right here. And for this scenario, let's go to point light. And that's going to appear right in the middle of the, of the scene. So let's adjust the lighting settings. So let's put the intensity up to 5. And let's increase the outer radius to say 2.5. That looks pretty good. And notice that the normal map isn't being affected yet. So why does it still look like our plain boring texture? That's because down here at the bottom of the light 2D settings, we haven't ticked use normal map. So if we tick that, we notice that the normal map is now being applied. And as soon as you tick that, underneath that, there's going to be a new parameter called distance. And what this is, is it simulates a Z value. So for example, if we move this up really close, you can't really see the light because it's almost touching the tanker. And as we move it away, the shadows are become, the shadows become less uh, prominent. So I've found a good value for this is not the default 3, but in fact 0 0.5. So now, if I maximize our scene, and move my webcam into the corner, we can move around the light you can see that our tanker is going to be now dynamically interacting with our light and uh, it will deal with the rotation as well so the lighting will change as you rotate um, and if we, for example if we move the light to the top left corner it will, it will, the lighting will work so that is how you set up normal maps for Unity 2019.2 so just remember, you have to be using uh, the Lightweight Render Pipeline 6.7.1 or above, um, and you have to be using Unity 2019.2. So I hope you found that helpful, and if you have any questions, just write them in the, con in the comments, and I'll answer them as fast as I can. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.